so if we are asked to to find potential at center of conducting hemisphere having charge density as sigma then what we'll do is we'll uh, simply be able to find the potential at this point p due to all the charges spread on the uh, surface outer surface of the conducting hemisphere we know that in conductors charge always resides only on the surface the outer surface so charge is case mein sara charge outer surface par hoga hum dekh payenge easily ki ye charge dq let's say is p point se r duri par hai ye wala charge dq is p point se wahi r duri par hai ye wala charge dq bhi is p point se wahi duri r par hai to sara dq charge dq dq charge p point se r duri par hai so we can say that small potential at point p due to small dq will be k small dq which could be treated as a point charge and we know that potential due to point charge is k q by r right k q by r so k dq by r is the potential due to these dqs at this point p so if i if i move this k by r outside the integration and if i integrate these dq 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 then what i'll get is k q by r so this is the potential at the center of the hemisphere where q will be where q will be sigma into 2 pi r square so r gets cancelled with r so this is simply 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into sigma into 2 pi r square pi pi 2 2 so what i get here is this is our only sigma r by 2 epsilon not this is the potential this is the potential at the point p due to this conducting hemisphere other way to find uh, this uh, potential could be like uh, uh, other way could be like uh, finding potential by considering a ring at angle theta with this d theta now i can make a strip make a strip using this ring if i know sigma if this angle is d theta then this will be r d theta this is you can say the method to to find the potential at point p which is a bit illogical or you can say quite lengthy you must not follow this but still i'm just telling you how to find the potential by this method by the method of integration so this is uh, here uh, r cos theta this is simply r sin theta right so in order to write potential at this point p which is on the axis of this ring we have to find the charge of this ring which will be 2 pi r cos theta is the circumference of the ring because ring will come out to be like this this will be 2 pi r cos theta that is the circumference of ring into this is r d theta so 2 pi r cos theta into r d theta this is charge dq due to this dq the potential at this point p we know from previous lectures is simply equal to x square plus radius of ring ka square ka root d v p so k dq is simply 2 pi r square cos theta d theta upon this the distance on axis distance from the center distance between the center and x uh, center of the ring and the point p so in this case we see that the x can be equal to r sin theta right and this radius of ring is simply equal to this r cos theta so this is r sin theta square plus r cos theta square and under root right and its integration from 0 to 90 degree so what i get here is k 2 pi r square cos theta d theta upon r square sin square theta plus r square cos square theta becomes r square and its under root is simply r so r gets cancelled with this r 
and I have to integrate at 0 to 90 degree. What I get here is k 2 pi r